Hey guys, Lee from Overbite Gaming here, and today I'm going to give you a little review of Warhammer Chaos Bane. Now, there's a lot of people moaning that it's not worth the money out there that I've seen in other reviews. And, to be fair, they do have a bit of a point. I mean, it's not priced, at least in this country, as a full AAA title would be. It's They would normally be about £55, £60, pounds, whereas Warhammer Chaos Bane is 40 so it's sort of it's at the upper end of like double A. I was I guess you would designate it. Uh, but personally, for the amount of content you get in the game, I would be happier paying around the twenty five pound mark. Now, what is Warhammer uh, Chaos Bane? I keep wanting to say Shadow Bane, but no, it's not that. Uh, well, it's a licensed Games Workshop title, but they give those licenses out like candy. Probably just want a cut of whatever money you make off of it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I could get a Games Workshop license at this point. Mind you, it does explain their avarice, doesn't it? When they want to you know, pay £20 for one miniature that's exactly the same as all the other miniatures, except it's better on the battlefield. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just use, like, a frozen prawn. How's that? There's my nearest Kalgar. Destroy my prawny friend. Makes no sense to me why one model would be the equivalent of, like, a whole squad. Just because his numbers are better in the book. That seems a bit disparate. But whatever, moving on. We're talking about uh, Chaos Bane here. Now, I will preface this. I do quite like it. Um, I would have been happier if I paid less for it. But I'm not like, oh, God, what a waste of money. It's given me probably... If good three days of enjoyment. I mean, the main campaign isn't long by any means. Uh, there are four acts to it, and each one is sort of assigned to a Chaos faction. So you've got Nurgle, Slanesh, uh, Zinch, and Corn. I always used to call it Cahorn, but no, it's Corn. Okay. Uh, and each one of those runs fairly similarly. You sort of go into a dungeon. You're like, oh, there's the big bad guy. He runs off. You fight his underlings. That carries on. And at the end of the act, he turns into a big sort of faction-specific demon, sort of bloodthirster or uh, one of those birdie fellows that I can't remember the name of right now. I want to say change, make it Lord of, Ch Lord of Change. There you go. Got there in the end. Or, you know, the Great Unclean one and the Slanesh one. Do they have marines that play guitars? I can't take them seriously. What else? But... Yeah, so each one kind of is pretty samey, but the, the most egregious thing it does wrong is in each of these four areas that you go to, you have about three dungeons, and you're continually having to go back into the same dungeons. The same dungeons that you've just come out of and gone, I've finished that quest, and he's like, right, go back in that one now. It's like, you couldn't have told me why I was down there. That that would have helped. It's like, find this ne chaos nest. You're like, okay. You come back out, found it. He's like, okay. Go take it out. You're like, fuck, I could have just done that. I was right there, man. What? What? what, what? So it's a little bit frustrating that there's not a lot to see in this game in terms of environments. There's four different environments for one for each act. Each one has like three different dungeons that you have to go back repeatedly. Uh, you do most of the time... Mo most of your quests are given by this high mage called Telkis. There is a few regional contacts that you have to deal with as well, but it's mostly sort of... Yes, yeah, prove you can trust me so I can help you wipe out the chaos because wiping out the chaos wouldn't be a good thing. Wait. Hmm. Anyway, so graphically, it's 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 serviceable. It's okay. Uh, it's not very well optimized. Um, at uh, two four forty, I think I've run out. Have to work out those numbers later, but I think it was that. Um, it, there was some judder to it, so I've taken it down to ten eighty and it runs fine. Not a problem with it. It's not it's not the most pretty looking game, but it's serviceable. Now, there is a storyline to it going through. It, it's pretty shit. It's like the, the king is cursed and you need to go take out all these chaos beasties and there's a bit of betrayal going on as well. It's just a means to an end to get you into these dungeons. There's, there's nothing you're going to come and go, wow, that was so fulfilling. No, nothing like that. But good things. It does have a pretty good Warhammer vibe going on. You'll like look at some of the um, the bad guys that you fight, and you'll be like, "I know what that is. Nice one, pal." Um, the combat is probably where it shines best. It's meaty. It's uh, involving. You can 
get some real synchronicity going on with with uh, other players as well. So you'll buff them, they'll buff you, and you'll just tear through things. It's not a very hard game, especially because I play it on easy anyway. Um, I imagine, but it does have a lot of difficulty levels that you can ramp up, and you'll get better gear. Uh, as a result of doing it, or at least your percentage chance of getting the better gear will increase. But the combat is well, it's meaty. They all have a special archetype move. Uh, so like the dwarf, he will like, sling a grappling hook and drag himself along. Um, the fighter will do a shield rush. Uh, the ranger will do, uh, I think she just rolls. Yeah, just a roll. I think mean, you've got short changed on that one. Um, and the mage is probably the most interesting. When you... you Press a space on the mage. You take control of their last fired spell, so you can move it around the battlefield. So you, if you want it to like take out a line of enemies or something, you just follow that line around and just have it hit them all, which is pretty cool. Um, I've been playing on mouse and keyboard, so I'm not sure how well it works on a gamepad, because it seems like it would be perfect to have it on the other stick. But obviously, with a mouse, you're just moving it around with the mouse, and then if you click, your character will move. So. The first time I did it, I must confess, I was moving my character and the spell ran together, and I was like, hmm, that doesn't seem convenient. But it is it is pretty innovative. I've not seen something like that before that I can think of. So that's well done. The combat's great. Four classes, so you've got the Dwarven Slayer, uh, the Elven Mage, the Elven Hunter, and the Human Fire. Seems to be leaning towards the Elves a bit, but whatever. They all feel different. Um, they all get lots of loot. The loot is quite easy to discern if it's better because you have the stats underneath it and then it gives you two stats up top and it says either plus or minus on your attack and plus or minus on your defense. Green for good, red for bad. And to be honest, I just make sure I get the biggest green one. So it makes like worrying about stats kind of like, I mean, you can still like, oh, I really want to buff the critical hit and shit like that. But if you just want to like an all round guy, then you're fine just doing that. That's what I did anyway. Just make sure I got the biggest bonus off of each gear, and then you'll find you chop and change them really frequently anyway. Some of the gear pieces look pretty cool, some don't. I mean, I've never been a huge fan of like uh, the aesthetics of Warhammer. I like 40k, not so much the uh, Warhammer Fantasy, or I guess Age of Sigma now, uh, where you've got like um, ridiculously colourful humans in fucking berets and stuff, um, and like hoes. Just, no, that doesn't really ring my bell. I want, I'm in big fuck off armor. <laughs> but I suppose, I suppose there's heavier troops, but whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, guys, if I was to give this game a grade, I've, I've been mulling this. I'm flitting between two numbers. And it's not as dirty as it sounds. I would go down the middle. Why not? My channel. Well, our channel. It's mine for the minute. I can do what I want. I will give this game 6.5 out of 10. I was stuck between the 6 and the 7 because, yeah, I had fun playing it. It's lasted, I mean, I got it Saturday, I think, and it's lasted me, I'm reviewing this on Tuesday now for to go up tomorrow. And to be honest, you know, I've had fun with it. I've completed the campaign with one of the characters and got the others up to, like, mid-20s, I think, most of them, uh, level-wise. Just so I could play them all. And yeah, it's it's good fun. It does have multiplayer suites, so you can do boss rushes and other stuff like that. So that does extend the playtime, but you're doing it in all the same dungeons against all the same bad guys. So it's a bit repetitive. I think you will probably burn out on it. And then, you know, that's £40 down the drain. I mean, I can't really see me coming back to that. I mean, Diablo 3 I will come back to, uh, Grim Dawn I will come back to, Path of Exile I will come back to, because there's just so much more to do and so much more to see. Um, so, I would have been happier if it was cheaper. £40 is... It's cheaper than it could have been. And so we got to say on that. I mean, I've played uh, Warhammer, I think it's Inquisitor or something. It's, it's basically the action RPG, but for the 40k universe. Uh, it's got so much in that, but the combat's a bit rubbish. So, <laughs> you know, I'm, I think I've had another review of this, and he basically went, if you could take the combat from this one and put it in that one, and that would be a great game. And I would wholeheartedly agree with that assessment. Um, everything that sort of each game does wrong, the other one gets right. So if you could smush them together, perfect. Especially if it's in 40k universe, because I prefer that. 
Anyway, guys, that's my quick review of Warhammer Chaos Bane. If you have any questions about the game, let me know down below. Uh, we release videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Snare so will be taking over next Wednesday for you, you lucky people. And uh, don't forget to subscribe down below if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know. Thumb up if you liked it. Thumb down if you don't and think I'm a wanker. Okay, don't bother doing that. We'll just take it as a given, all right? I, I will hold up my hands on that one. Anyway, guys, take it easy.